everyone, it's Jen. I'm a holistic health coach and a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. You're about to watch an interview with one of my health coaching clients, Grace. She is amazing and um, she has an incredible transformation story. So I wanted to share this with you and yeah, that's it. Go ahead and enjoy. Hi everyone, <laughs> it's Jen. Um, this is Grace. She is one of my incredible holistic health coaching clients who have gone through the 12 week find your freedom program and we actually decided to keep working together after that for a total of six months in 2020 so crazy year but it was a great time um, and so I wanted to have her come on just share her experience with health coaching working together so that you know you can see her unique challenges and like what um, she was able to change and like evolve through this process uh, the transformation she was able to achieve from working together and just her dedication to her wellness uh, and see what's possible for you if you're interested in the Find Your Freedom program as well. So Grace, if you can just introduce yourself and tell people, you know, how we first got connected and everything. Yeah, definitely. So hi, everyone. I'm Grace. Um, I'm currently a senior at USC and studying neuroscience. So I'm always interested in like bettering myself, I guess. But um, I actually met Jen through one of my classes, she like sent out an email. I think we were in the same, it was like the entrepreneurial mindset class. And you sent out an email that was like, oh, I'm doing like this health coaching information session if you wanna to come to it. And this was like right when COVID started. So I was like a mess and I was so stressed out and really worried about everything. And so I was like, yeah, like I could definitely use some help. So I went to the session and I just remember like being so, like excited about it afterwards because you were just so um, like calming to talk to. And I just feel like you like made me feel like I could actually better myself, I guess, because sometimes, sometimes it's hard when you're in college, you're like, am I going to take time for myself? And I hadn't really done that in a while. So it was nice to know that I can do that. Um, so yeah, I guess after that, I just reached out again, we started doing our health coaching and it's been so incredibly helpful. So yeah. Wow, thank you so much. That's like yeah. so nice to hear. <laughs> I'm like that I'm calling because I I'm almost like I like I'm like hype up people, but then in coaching it's so like much more like mm -hmm. calm. So I love hearing that. Um, and yeah, so like that wellness workshop was awesome. We like talked about body image and stuff like that. Um, so you know, I think health coaching is like a relatively new field too. So um, you know, did you have any expectations of like what health coaching was or like any confusion about it? I didn't really know what to expect because I mm -hmm. had been to therapy before and like with their, one of my therapists was like, you should go to like a health coach or like a life coach. And I was like, what is that? And she's like, oh, just, you know, you'll figure it out. Like she didn't really tell me. So I <laughs> had no idea what to expect, but like going through it, I think it was so helpful. And like, I think most people should be doing something like this because it's nice to just be held accountable and like like set goals and have someone be like, oh, remember when you said you were going to do this? Did you do that? So especially in college, like, like so many things are going on. So it's just like, you want to make sure that you have yourself and someone else holding you accountable. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So health coaching is really just that. It's like just the um, accountability and support for like what you want to achieve. Um, so at the time that we met, can you tell us like a little bit about what was going on for you and your health and wellness and um, your relationship with your body and food? Because that's kind of what we ended up working on. Definitely. Yeah. So I, um, I had been like a perpetual dieter, I guess I was always trying a new diet and my family was into dieting. So I think, and like living in LA, it's just a really everyone's always talking about like, what's the newest diet that people should do. So I really was tired of it. And I didn't know that it was an option to just not diet. Like I thought no matter what I would be doing my whole life, I would be doing some sort of diet. So I think like when we first met, I, it was crazy for me to hear you just say, you don't need to diet. Like you just don't like you can not diet and be fine. And so once I like was able to get rid of that mindset, I think it really helped me just to relax a little more and also I just I had like a weird relationship with my body and I like confidence and food like they all kind of went together or were tied together for me so just like we first started on you know like the dieting and like the stop dieting that kind of thing and then it worked into more of confidence and like how I like hold myself and the thoughts I have about like my life and myself so it really we got very deep definitely and I'm so glad we did because now, like the thought of dieting, I just, it doesn't, I don't do it anymore. And it's amazing. So, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I love that. Yeah, just getting rid of the whole diet mentality. And um, yeah, like when we had first started, like it was, I think a lot of people don't exactly know um, what they want until they get it. And for you, like you shifted your goals even from like, you know, wanting to lose a certain amount of weight to being like on the total opposite end of, I don't want to die. I want to have like a peaceful relationship with my food and my body. Um, so can you tell me more about your experience with like working together um, and kind of what happened for you? Like what changed for you? Yeah. So we, I remember when we started, like there were so many like documents and I was like, whoa, what is this going to be like? And <laughs> I was honestly like, am I going to be able to keep up with all these? And I totally was able to. So we had this one document that was like a kind of like a habit tracker and like mm -hmm. you would put in like your three goals or whatever for the week and how many times mm -hmm. that week you did it. And that was like such a good place to start for me because I'm a very, like, I like having, I like being able to see like, okay, I've done this, this right. many times. And, um, so we did that. And then we also talked a lot about like affirmations and like, just mm -hmm. like treating yourself kindly. And so I think like the combination of like having goals for every week and then just always like, doing affirmations to myself like in the mirror just like writing them down it like yeah. it really switched my mindset I think and helped me so much like even today if I'm like stressed out or something I'll you know do some affirmations and I'm like okay yeah like it's gonna be okay so um in the beginning I'd say we started off with the like the goals and the affirmations and we just kept mm -hmm. going with them and then it got to a point where it just became like a habit and I just did them all the time so yeah, I'm glad that uh, you were able to like kind of keep that tool with you. And um, I think something like affirmations too, at least for me, even like starting that a few years ago, I was like, this is like weird. Like why would this feel so cringy and stuff like that? Like, did you feel that resistance too? Yes, there was a ton of resistance with like everything in the beginning. Like even, <laughs> yeah, like all the affirmations I, and like the smart goals and everything. I was like, none of this is going to work. Mm -hmm. Like, what does this even mean? And then I like found myself just like always kind of saying the affirmations in my head and like writing mm -hmm. them down. And then I started thinking like, like I started to like believe them too. And once you start to like really believe them, then it's fun because you're like, wait, I like how I feel can be up to me. Like I can choose in some ways. Um, like obviously not all the time. Like you're going to have days when you just like are sad for whatever reason, but like there are some times where I feel like I was able to choose that I can be like feel a certain way. So that was nice, definitely. Yeah, I'm glad that you bring that up too, because, um, you know, coaching and like a, doing something like working on yourself consistently for 12 weeks is like not an easy thing. It's not all rainbows and sunshine all the time. There are setbacks. So, uh, you know, what were like the biggest challenges or like one biggest challenge for you throughout the process? Hmm, I think like a challenge I faced was just, hmm. I think it would, it would be hard when I would, cause in the very beginning I got super excited obviously. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be so awesome. Like you get the momentum. And then like the first setback, like let's say you're like, oh, I have a huge exam and I don't wanna work out or I don't wanna mm -hmm. like, you know, eat healthy, healthy, whatever. But I, mean, like, I, just, <laughs> I know now I just ruined it. But I mean, I think sometimes just like you'll have a setback and like for me, like if I had like a big exam or like something, some sort of outside stress, like I would just, I feel like sometimes I would unravel a little bit and I'd be like, oh no, like this isn't okay. Like I'm not allowed to like, you know, skip something or do this or that. But then I started to realize that like, it is even, even though I hate when people are like, oh, moderation, like you can really just like live your life in that way. And like, if you swing too far one way or the other, it doesn't really matter. I think it's more just about where you are mentally. So like I would just be nice to myself and I'd be like, okay, yeah, I have a big exam this week and mm -hmm. it's going to be a really hard week. So I'm just going to do whatever I can to like get through this exam. And then, you know, yeah. afterwards I'll like, you know, just like start work, like focusing more on myself again. But I think just being nice to myself was something that I really got better at because the challenges were harder in the beginning, but then like as more things would come up towards the end and like in life, things just come up. So like I got better at them as they came through. Sorry if that was a big round the, you know, answer, but yeah. <laughs> no, I love it. It was great. 
Uh, and I'm glad that you bring that because I totally remember, you know, kind of starting off, everyone almost wants to bite off more than they can chew. And so, uh, you know, you were really good at being um, adaptable and like flexible with what you were wanting to achieve. So changing like your little, your little win to from um, like going out for a run to going out for a run or a walk so mm -hmm. that you could have that flexibility. Like that was really big. Um, so I'm glad that you, you brought that up and stuff. Uh, you know, so when we started working together too, um, I think it's really important to know like what happens in people's lives, I guess, into a point where they're like, this is the time, like I need to work on this now. And obviously 2020 was a really difficult place for like everybody, um, just so much uncertainty, just like everything in your face, like not being able to go out and stuff. So why did you feel like it was the right time for you to start working on your health and like your wellness? I think with 2020, it was just like, I kind of just had a lot of realizations. I was like, is the world ending? Do I want to <laughs> live my life like this anymore? So that was a big one yeah. for me. I was like, wow, I've been struggling with like my body for like 21 years. That was when we started. So like, <laughs> I kind of was like, whoa, it's been a long time of just dieting and feeling this way. And like, I see people who don't feel this way. And like, I would kind of mm -hmm. resent people like that for a while who, cause I'd be like, oh, well, like they mm -hmm. were just like, born looking a certain way like or whatever and then I kind of realized that like no like you can like choose to not like give in to all the societal norms of like how you're supposed to look and how you're supposed to eat and everything so mm -hmm. I think it was like a combination of just like like a wake-up call from the world being like oh like mm -hmm. the world is so crazy right now like focus on what you can and then also just me like kind of realizing that at this point in my life I had been struggling with it for so long and mm -hmm. I actually did want to like change I guess um because a lot of times in the past I'd been like oh yeah like I'm just not gonna diet but really I would just like not diet and then be like fake dieting in my head like just playing games all the time so it was really yeah. nice to just fully like just lean into this I guess yeah that's a really common challenge I think for a lot of people is um trying to quit dieting like yourself with like mm -hmm. um like not having the right support around it like even talking to friends or like people who you can trust about it so yeah I think that was like a really good time for you to start and um I I wanted to kind of highlight that you know, one of the big consequences that you had noted, uh, this is like during our intake and like, uh, you know, what's stopping you? Like where's like biggest consequences of you living this way? And for you it was uh, that it was really affecting your relationships. Uh, so, you know, can you tell us a little bit about where you are now? Like how your relationships are, how your relationship with yourself is? Yeah, definitely. I think it really affected my relationships. Like my sophomore year of college, I was just like so into dieting and like I remember I like wouldn't go out to eat with people because I was like oh I can't eat food there and then I would like binge or something so it was just like a toxic cycle that I just was going through and then I feel like once like this did start during COVID so it was kind of hard obviously anyways to see people but I feel like I would kind of take things out on people if I had like a bad like food day or whatever I would just kind of mm -hmm. Like if I felt like I had like cheated or something, then I would be kind of more rude to my family or my friends and myself a lot too. So I think like getting rid of that and just like, like, cause I would always see my friends like eating whatever they wanted and not caring. And I'd be like, how are they just like doing that? And then once I was able to just like do that as well and just like not really think about it anymore. Like I just, it just felt so much easier. And I was like, wow, so this is how people can live their lives and how people do live their lives. Like, it's awesome. So yeah, yeah, the relationships was a big thing though. And I'm so glad that we figured that out. Yeah, it's crazy to like think about, you know, how do other people live? Cause you always are like in your own bubble. And so I'm so glad that you're able to like get out of that and kind of see it from a broader perspective. And you just seem like so much happier and like healthier now, so much more just at ease with yourself. And so it's for me, just like, you know, I'm so grateful to have been able to be part of the process for you and like kind of see your transformation because it is like so incredible and so rewarding to see. Uh, so, you know, we're going to kind of like wrap it up to, um, you know, what would you say to somebody who is hesitant to working with a health coach or like investing in their wellness in this way? I think it's so important and like my experience with you Jen has been incredible and I think I 
like you don't don't even wait for like a wake up call is my advice like just if you are watching this just like do it and like it was so helpful for me and I'm so excited that I'm still doing it because it's like I think obviously there are different reasons to go to different people for like therapy or psych like a psychologist or a psychiatrist but like I think if you're in a place where you just like want to see like your potential and see how far you know you can go in that good right direction I think this is a really good opportunity and just to get rid of some of those beliefs that you've had for a while that are holding you back I think it's definitely like the best option so I've, I've recommended it to like all of my friends too so definitely oh, would yeah. Do <laughs> yeah thanks so much yeah I love that I love 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 everything that you've said today um I love your transformation your story like thank you so much for sharing all of this today and um you know I'm really looking forward to continuing our relationship to see how we can further you in your personal development journey like outside of food and everything just in life in general um is there anything else that you wanted to add um, no, I think that's it. So thank you so much. I'm so glad that we're doing this and I'm glad I could help with this. So. All right, guys. Well, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed listening to Grace and her story. Um, I was definitely really inspired by it and I hope you were too. If you have any questions about health coaching or if you want to work with me, um, you can go ahead and send me an email at jen at jensweighhealth.com or DM me on Instagram at Gentway Health. And if you want more information about the 12-week program that we were talking about, um, the Find Your Freedom program and all the information is down below in the description box. You can go to my website at gentsway.com slash coaching and you'll be able to find it right there. All right, well, that's everything for me, guys. I will see you later. Bye.